Had a beautiful summer here in Canada. Came on a Tuesday. Now that's over. Nice to not suffer apocalyptic wildfires, but the ticks were apoplectic. Never fails but you venture into the bush with your sweetie. A little worse for the wearing and she picks up a 300 kill a click tick. Don't make no never mind or creed, gasser, diesel. They're all junk broke down by the side of the road. This particular one surviving on the laurels of glory's bygone. The best infernal combustion engine ever squoze out of a Detroit City Friday afternoon shift. 1843657273. Rams willfully eschewed, only dickheads drive Dodge, some bitumen stained oil Burton sled neck blast past you doing a buck 60, trailer for the skidoo, spitting rocks and slush, he's driving a Dodge, schadenfreude glee rapidly Paul seeing him tits up in the rhubarb when you realize you'll be crawling past his Coquihalla Summit red plate yard sale for hours, don't be silly, still gonna send it, we gave you Flatlanders part of the Rockies for a reason, what you come here for? Tick removal. You want to ignore that loathsome engine speed dependent noise, seeing as how it comes and goes as the engine warms up. It's a mere trifle to drown it out with angry teenage music from your glory days. Nothing more ennoblingly ignoble than blasting rage against the machine driving to work at Evil Omnicorp in your gas drinking, piston clanking, air polluting, smoke belching, four wheel buggy from Detroit City. I'm here to tell you, partner, ignore the signs at your peril. Deep in your valve train, a hydraulic lifter is self-destructing. Either it's sticky rolling or hydraulically collapsed and slams into the cam lobe slowly, steadily. This brunels the roller and spalls the case hardening off the cam. One easy trick Big Lube doesn't want you to know. Harvest your own for free from the bottom of the pan. Congratulations, you're making homebrew never cease. The ancestral time-tested fix from time immemorial. Add engine oil. Change that engine oil for thicker engine oil. Add STP dying engine thick goop, assorted snake oils, and sundry voodoo charms and rattles. Turn up the radio and ignore for a minimum of six months. Remove a single head and inspect every lifter but the one that's stuck in the hole. Reassemble and hide surplus fasteners. Take it to a mechanic proclaiming, I've tried nothing and I'm all out of ideas. Bulk at the discount shop rate. You already tried to fix it and fucked it up. Limp home to remove heads. Replace camshaft and single faulty lifter, vowing to never buy that brand of vehicle again. In an ill-conceived effort to economize legal tender, reuse torque to yield head bolts. Complain to all and sundry that your brand new head gaskets are leaking. Repeat biannually until a new set of used tires is worth more than the truck. And that is how Canadians stay safe from ticks.